allegedly, this is this is all alleged, but there's a theory floating around that apparently TikTok scans your facial expressions and uses that as essentially data to give you more or less of the content that has like an emotional impact on you. But anyways, whether or not it's true, it did get people to think about how much should tech really be knowing about us. Now, let's take something like Mtech Sense sunglasses. These are essentially sunglasses that are designed to read your emotions in real time. So like imagine a pair of sunglasses that know exactly when you're stressed out or happy, whether you're upset, and can give you immediate feedback based on that. Now, I'm not going to lie, in my opinion, it sounds really cool, and I can totally see how we can use this in things like, I don't know, like a habit tracker or like even online therapy. However, it does beg the question of where does all of that data actually get stored and who is able to use it? So this is where design gets so fascinating to me. And like, you can tell I'm getting super giddy just even thinking and speculating about this kind of stuff. Cause honestly, it's so freaking close. Like I would argue it's even closer than five years time. I think it's gonna be in like the next couple of years that we're gonna start to see a very massive change in these traditional jobs like therapy and medicine and engineering. I'm just trying to think if there is a way that we can balance the way that tech is kind of infiltrating into our lives. And while all of this is happening, we're able to still have some autonomy over our own personal privacy. I frankly think that it's possible and it's inevitable. However, it's gonna be a lot of slow step-by-step -step implementation and a lot of skepticism from a lot of people.